Metal Master Kingdom with Mark Jansen of Epica. Okay. So we heard some pretty upsetting news for fans, unfortunately. Simone Simon had to back out of the tour. Yes. So could you, I mean, I know some details are probably for privacy's sake, but so how are you guys dealing with this right now? Um, yeah, the only thing we can do is uh, support her fully and hopefully everything is going to turn out well in the end, even though chances are uh, small. But you never know, sometimes some miracles happen. Um, and we are there for each other when there's, there are hard times. Uh, we are there for each other and we we pull uh, each other through. Mm -hmm. That's great and also just you guys showing up and supporting the tour. I mean you could have gone back home. Um, it's really great to see you guys. Just yeah, we, we still have hope that Simone comes back. Uh, of course, if, if she, it appears that she cannot come back, it doesn't make sense to, to stay on the whole tour. It's just too painful to, to, <laughs> we, want to we want to play and if we're not able to, to play then it's uh, it can make you really feel depressed. Yeah, is it yeah. hard? I mean, you guys are usually out by the merch stand out here, so just watching the show. Yeah, to be honest, it, it is hard. Uh, yeah, we are musicians and uh, we, we want to play. and we, we want to get the party going, make people <laughs> happy and feel the energy. Yeah. And when you uh, see the other bands having a good time, and uh, we are happy for them, but then we think, that's why we are here as well in the yeah. first place, and, and it's hard that you cannot do it yourself. Yeah, do you ever find yourself kind of like micromanaging and trying to get really involved even though maybe you should just step back? <laughs> like, oh, you should, t you know, tune a little differently or... <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so the decision to stop doing the four shows and maybe further shows and not bring another vocalist in, how did you reach that decision? Um, we, we always ask uh, each other the question what, what can we what can we do and how are we going to solve the situation uh, we, we think that uh, if we would bring a, a last minute substitute singer uh, yeah that would not be an ideal solution because yeah. uh, uh, people would maybe feel it like being a karaoke show yeah. and uh, also Simone uh, it's not feeling comfortable with, with that idea, so then we we respect that and uh, uh, when we come back we want to do the full four show like it's meant to be and yeah. uh, if, if for example uh, all the fans would say please please play and uh, even though it's an instrumental set or something we would have done that but also yeah it's it's uh, people prefer of course to see the band yeah. With, with, in its full force, and we're already missing our keyboard player, Kuhn, yeah. and also Simone, so it's just too much. We, we would feel very uncomfortable putting out a show knowing that, that we're missing two, two of our guys. And yeah, uh, yeah it, it just was already hard without Kuhn, which was an unfortunate uh, situation of uh, his wife having bre breast cancer. Um. So he had already had to sit out the tour. And then this on top, it's, it's just too much. I know, it seems yeah. like a, a little bit of bad luck has hit you guys. Yeah, that's uh, what they call, uh, what is it called again? When uh, bad luck keeps oh, coming? Oh, um, like bad luck comes in threes, or it's just uh, like a yeah, down there's a word for it. Law? Murphy's Law? Law. Murphy's Law, yeah, yeah. So I was looking for that. This is a typical Murphy's Law situation, and already before the tour we had a lot of hassle with getting the visa. It was one big mess, wow. a continuous Wow. Mess. You need to bring in like a shaman and do some like some witchcraft and get this bad juju. <laughs> if that would help, it would surely yeah. do. <laughs> yeah, and it must be hard because you can't, like you said, please all the fans. Some would say, oh, do instrumental, uh, do yeah. karaoke. Bring in a, a lot of people were saying to bring in um, Amanda Somerville, but then I mean, you can't just pull her off of whatever she's doing. Yeah, she she just got a baby and. Uh... I guess she has a better things to do at the moment. Yeah, also. Happy with her newborn baby, probably. <laughs> yeah. Um, and have you taken this chance as a time to maybe breathe and try and relax, like read a book, or, or are you just kind of like trying not to go crazy? Um, yeah, it's, it's still too fresh. Uh, I, uh, I I do some bike riding during the day, and uh, uh, in the evening we we are still there to talk to our fans, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we. We try to uh, to stay optimistic, yeah. Even though it's, it's sometimes hard, like I said before, because yeah, you really feel like playing. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, sooner or later, 
things will will go better again. For sure, for sure. And, uh, yeah, I have still many books with me, like you said. <laughs> uh, I can read, I can watch a movie. Uh, there's still a lot of lyrics have to be written for the next album. Yeah. So there's there's much yeah. to do, but it's it's so fresh that the, the news. So I, it takes uh, a few days before I think personally I will feel ready again to work on the new the next album. And uh, yeah. this moment it's, it's, it's a not the right the right moment yet yeah. for me. Have you seen that fans have responded in a supporting way, or do you think it's more like backlash? No, I, I, what I've heard, all, all people completely understand. And I, to be honest, if somebody would say uh, that, they, that he or she is mad and uh, doesn't understand the situation, I would totally not understand that. Yeah, because, for sure. <laughs> yeah, what, what's more important than, than your, your, your close family? And when there's something really wrong, then you have to be there for your family. That, that's the most important thing in life. Yeah. And, uh, Whatever you're doing at the moment, when your family needs you, you have to be there. For sure. And if somebody doesn't understand, that's very bad for that person. But then I think that person should uh, reconsider his or her values of life. That's very true. Musicians are people, they're not little monkeys that just dance on stages. Yes, exactly. exactly yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like I said, everybody that I spoke to completely understood the situation. That's great. Yeah, from what we could see, it was just a lot of support and a lot of outpouring yeah. love towards you guys yeah. and Simone and her family. Yeah, that's what we need because uh, it's hard enough already and uh, all the, the supporting messages are really pulling us through as well because mm -hmm. these things is exactly what, what carries you on. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's very important. Yeah. yeah. And now, so going on, you said you were writing lyrics for the new album. Um, yeah. After the great su success of Quantum, Quantum Enig uh, Enigma, it's like a tongue twister, <laughs> Quantum Enigma, um, do you feel say it ten times. I know. <laughs> Get me drunk and I cannot say it at all. <laughs> um, do you feel a lot of pressure to try and top that? Because it seems like each album you keep on going higher and higher. Then, no, actually, I don't feel any pressure because. Uh, We've heard already all the tracks that we've written so far, mm -hmm. and the quality of these tracks is so high that uh, we actually feel very confident. Oh, uh, oh! Yeah, we, we wrote each of us wrote new songs, and we we got together and listened to all the tracks, and there's even too many good tracks. Oh, so, <laughs> that, that's a good problem to have. Yeah, it's, it's a luxurious position, and uh, that's that's the position you always want to be in because yeah. that. That, that means that whatever happens, they're going to be a strong album. Yeah. So, uh, we don't feel any pressure at all. That's great. <laughs> That's so positive as opposed to most people who are just like, no, working hard at it. And you guys yeah. are like, well, so are we expecting a release soon? Um, everything is already set, set up and uh, uh, the release will be after the summer of next year. Okay. Yes. Oh, so still tweaking away for another year, I guess. Yeah, because there's still a lot to be done. That's true. Like I said, writing lyrics, working on, on vocal lines here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, even starting to rehearse all the songs, we can then, then also still things can change. Mm -hmm. Then recording the demos and then record the actual album. True. Wow. So it's still so a, much work. <laughs> a whole process. Yeah. And since, um, so in Epica, does everybody have a say in the songs? Yes. Yes. And yes. so, how does that writing process work? Because now you have like six people, kind of throwing in their voice. It seems a bit complicated. It. You can see it like that, but uh, usually when when somebody says, "I really don't like this," and you try something something new, and uh, and everybody likes the, the the result after, then still that result is better than what was before. Mm -hmm. Even though if you would have liked it yourself before already, and that's when when you with six persons and you really try to get the best out of a song, you just have to let it happen. Mm -hmm. You cannot sit on your eggs and uh, yeah. <laughs> don't touch them, because then really the song doesn't reach its potential. Mm -hmm. So it's sometimes hard to, to, to let an idea go, mm -hmm. but the end result is always better than before. That's true. Um, there's a writer that actually says it's more about writing, but it says, kill your darling. So you have to know yes. when to kill it, even though you might love yes, it. Yes, and when you're young, uh, all musicians had go through that phase of, uh, uh, no, don't touch my song. Yeah. But uh, you learn and you get, you get experience and now you know this is the best one. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get material you're so confident with that right now you're just um, relaxing. <laughs>
That's yes, great. yes, because you know after a while you know when you have something good in your hands yeah. or when it's rubbish. And when it's rubbish, you, you start getting really nervous. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, we look forward to the release of the new album, and our hearts go out to you guys and Simone yeah. and your family. And we hope that we get to catch you on a tour. So maybe you'll come back, give us a show. For sure. <laughs> if, if if we cannot uh, continue this tour, we will come back within uh, a few months. We tried, Ooh. but. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Well, because no we promises. We want to make it up. No, yeah. no promises because then people can get really disappointed. Oh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. But though. the promise is that for sure we're working hard then on yeah. a solution. As you can see, working very hard. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. It was very nice meeting thank you. Thank you, too.